So we're going to talk about setting up dumbbells for your, your exercises. I'm a little concerned. I'm going to smash my mic, but we'll give it a shot. Um, so when it's light, you can do it wrong, right? You can just curl it up and shrug your shoulders and just set it on there. And if you lay back and you don't have the right trajectory of the weights, you can just kind of like muscle them into place, right? The reason I have the 90s is to show you that's just not always going to work. When you've got really heavy weights, you've got to figure out, you know, relative to what you can do when the weights are heavy, you've got to be very um, systematic about how you set up. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. So first, I need to make sure I'm going to lay back in about the right spot. My elbow is a little close to the wall, so I'm going to bias towards you guys. And I'm going to set this up. So when I swing this up, when I'm setting up, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it really close to me. If it's really far away from me, I have to pull and drag and I got to kind of do a lateral raise with my deltoid. Not a strong muscle, especially compared to like a bench pressing set of muscles. So I'm going to pull it in really close to me and then I'm going to tilt it up. I got my hand on the handle, my right hand on my handle for my right dumbbell. And then I'm just going to kind of slide it up with two legs. Um, this version of the power block that I have, these adjustable dumbbells, it's got this little nubbin that sticks out and comes medial. Um, if I flipped it around, it wouldn't be that way. But what I do to avoid it is I set it on my leg like this first and then I tilt it. OK, so that's the goal. I want to get it on this end right here, because then as I lay back, it's just going to be in my hand ready to bench. That's the easy one. The hard one is the other arm, because I've got to somehow balance this one. And I'm going to just assume that maybe you don't have someone to help you. So. Don't test this with a one rep max. Um, you got to practice. I've got a bunch of clients who it takes weeks to kind of learn this new movement. It's just like, you know, picking up dancing or something. You have to learn the timing of everything. Um, so same idea over here. I'm going to swing it in close, but not too close to <laughs> squash my microphone. Oh, wish me luck. Um, and I'm going to use some body English to get this up. I'm even going to shrug my shoulder. It's probably not going to look that pretty, but I want to hike it as high as I can so that this fat bottom end, let me straighten that out. This fat bottom end gets flat on my leg. Okay. Now that my right leg is numb, let's give this a go. Okay, so I even threw it into my chest to get myself in there. Hopefully that was okay on the mic there. <laughs> um, and there we go. Now I'm, I'm mostly ready, but I'm not there yet. Uh, so from here, I'm going to use my legs as best I can. I need to use my leg. I can't just curl these weights up as I fall back. I need to use my legs as bracing. Okay, more points of contact means more stability, right? So as I fall back, I'm going to bend my knees and I'm even going to pick my feet up off the floor and my knees are going to follow back until my arms are totally vertical. <sighs> See, try to go slow mo for you. And then I like to turn them a little bit because it's more comfortable on my shoulder. And then when I'm done, I just set them down like this and then <sighs> sit back like that. OK, so again, <sighs> Right. I'm not there's a lot of tension on my arms like I, I'm not letting go of them at all. But most of that comes from the legs pushing the weight up one more time to show you guys it's possible. Ready? Do my reps and then done just like that. And then I just reverse it to get the weights off. So I go one arm like that. And then I go two arm back down flat and then back down on the ground. Those are the two hardest parts, getting them up there and then uh, getting your arms straight, making sure you're using your legs long enough. Right. So we want to maximize your leverage when you do a bench press. When you get to the top, your arms should be totally vertical. The weight should be 
over your forearm, over your elbow, over your humerus, over your shoulder, because bones handle compression really well, okay? Um, and that gives you good leverage. Your muscles hardly need to work to hold it there. I think that's all I got for you. Watch this video a couple times. Practice a bunch of times with gradually increasing weights. When you get heavy enough weights, you can't cheat. Um, so at some point, you're going to have to test with heavy enough weights. But that's the way to start benching heavy at home.